Hi guys, and this is Wins Back Round 1C of CBGS Pokemon Tournament. And this game we have Copper vs Katie. Katie playing on Spork's game. As uh, a lot of the society actually contributed and basically we built here a team. Because uh, she didn't actually have a game to play with at the time. So yeah, uh, so we've got uh, Charizard being so out of the field at the moment. Uh, Venusaur just being pulled back. Interesting choice for a Venusaur for a lead. I think it is just the huge wall tank thing that I think it is. And we get Sonya D out, which is actually quite a good choice for Cuppa's Dragon Team. One, because it boosts like any fire moves that the Dragon types will have, like Fire Blast, Flamethrower, and Solar Beam! which is great against the water types, which will try and set up some ice beams and so on on the Dragon Pokemon. So a Hydro Pump there from the Vaporeon, which is nicely called River Song. I'll, seriously, the name that, that we've, that's been done for Kitty's team is amazing. Because, after all, she is a Hoovian and just get some Dr. Unions in there. Pretty good idea. Like uh, Charizard's called David, I think, and Vaporeon's called River Song. Ah, so awesome names. So now with Gradova out, uh, can't. I'm oh, sorry, I missed that. But yeah, uh, River Song is pulled back, and it comes out Brokkis. Oh yeah, Gradova is the Dragonite. But yeah, Brokkis. Called, called that because in the early days of Pokemon Diamond and Pearl online, uh, Serene Grace, Air Slash, 100% chance flinch, flinch axe, flinch axe, flinch axe. It was just atrociously bad. <laughs> Thankfully, those days are far gone, and Togekiss is much better than it was. Uh, back in those stupid days of unbalanced games. But yeah, that's Katie's Togekiss gone down. Sweetie Belle. Don't know what that's a reference to. But yeah, it's still nice, still strong, and the Dragonite's still standing strong as well. Still quite a lot of its health available to it. And out comes the Snorlax. And it'll be interesting to see what set the Snorlax has on it. And it's just like a tank or a wall, but uh, Cuppa does the right thing going for physical outrage. This Snorlax is pretty especially defensive, and that takes it about quarter. Yeah, that's a pretty good effort. Should be two hit KO. Depends what damage this does. And oh, it takes it out. Oh, actually great effort from the Snorlax there, and the plays on the fact that it does have quite a good attack stat. But, uh, let's see what could Copper do here. It's got Flygon available, Kingdra available, Gyarados available, and he brings out the Gyarados! Now, the Gyarados, it should have Ice Attacks, stuff like that, because maybe Dragon Dance, perhaps? But yeah, let's see how this plays out, and ah, there we go! Thought so, he uses Dragon Dance, typical Gyarados set. Now, so this will be going to try and get this attack up straight away. Hmm. Uh, bad move from Katie there, use an earthquake. When, you have to remember that Gyarados is part flying. And so, what could they do here? A return will be best for Katie to do. Depends on what ability. Yes, Nolix has. Oh, then Gyarados goes from the Earthquake, and unfortunately the Snorlax can't take it, and so it gets taken out. Now, the one to bring out here would probably be Venusaur, perhaps? Or Umbreon, or even Vaporeon. And it is Venusaur, yeah, got right first time. That's why we're done, just bring out the Venusaur. The Scarados doesn't have, like, flying type attacks, even though it is flying. 
and grass attacks would do quite neutral damage, although you have to be aware of any ice attacks. It goes for an outrage and takes quite a lot of help away from being so, meaning that it's probably specially defensive. It goes for a sleep powder, quite a good move to try and immobilise the Gyarados, considering that if it has ice spawn, it probably will have ice spawn. That's like at least two Pokemon it's strong against on Kitty's team. Plus with Grass Stomp, which will do neutral damage. It doesn't do as much as I expect it would do, I would have thought it done more than that. But it's, it is asleep, so she's got plenty of time. Depends if Copper's thinking about switching out. Oh, it woke up! And goes with an earthquake. Hmm. That strikes me strange. Does this Gyarados not have any ice moves? Well, considering that he's got Kingdra there, he does have some good setup on dragons. It would have been nice to see some ice coverage on him. And it could have taken out the Venusaur a lot quicker. But yeah, the Venusaur's out anyway, so it's no problem. Not back out the Vaporeon and I guess some good defense up, but an earthquake is going to do some nice damage, and that takes it out. Couplet's clearly got the upper hand here, although KT is putting up an okay defense. As you have to remember, that Cuppet is just a total beast of Pokemon. It's like, oh, I play Pokemon 99.9% .9 of the time. Yeah, here comes the Umbreon named after Kitty's friend Umbi. It actually does some pretty interesting videos, I have to say. Yeah, Umbri. Oh, nice taunt from the girls there, stopping uh, Umbri doing anything. So, that's effectively Umbri wall because it hasn't got any attacking moves. Which, to be honest, was a bit of a dick move by Callum and Farzad when they were planning the team. It would have been nice needed like, to use something like Payback or something like that. Just to give it something to actually attack with. It's insane! It's an insane Umbreon! It's clear inside! But yeah, I would definitely have gone the something like a uh, yeah, like payback or something. But oh, I thought it died there, but I bet that Umbreon's like on one HP, and this should be a double KO, and it's a double KO. Gyarados has taken out as well as the Umbreon. So this will now be interesting, and I really want to see Flygon. Flygon is just the total meme of this tournament. And he's more Flygon! Come on, Copper, get Flygon out! And it is. Da 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 da! Metagross! Aww, so boring! <laughs> Needs more Flygon, Copper! Oh well. Uh, it's only David left now, named after the great David Tennant, of course. Yes, use Flamethrower. Um, doesn't have an Ockerberry or not? Doesn't look like it. No. But it just doesn't get it out, which is a shame. Because here comes the Thunder Punch, and this is going to do some hefty damage. Super effective. Oh, just stays in there. So it looks like the Charizard has a speed advantage over the Metagross, which should give this case you know, Oh, he uses a Bullet Punch! And that's. Oh, still doesn't take it out! It's just so close between these two Pokemon. Not in the overall battle overall, just these two Pokemon. Uh, Flamethrower goes, and that's Metagross out, I should take it. Yes, come on, get Flygon in. Flygon, we just use like the Stab Dragon move. be pretty easy to take the game. But there you go. And so, Kuppa now brings out his Kingdra, which, yeah, fair choice. Although, Kuppa did say that his Kingdra here, he trained it up, 
to be an absolute beast. And I'm sure you'll see that later in the tournament. Just the Kingdra being an absolute beast. Hidden power. Neutral hidden power. Also it's like nothing dragon or super effective or anything like that. Hmm. Cup is stalling here a little. Stalling. Just using stupid things like toxic. Just go for an all out dragon pulse. It'll be much easier. Anyway, it's basically game now. With cover just trolling and stalling. Flygon! Yes, it's a flygon! <laughs> oh, just to see that flygon in battle, it's amazing. But yeah, it's pretty much game now. Uh, yeah, Toxic takes out Charizard, and that means Cooper takes the game and advances into the next round.